So how is it pitched to you then? So like they come to you and like, what do they say to get you involved? Like to get, you know, how was this originally pitched? They said that the film that they were working on was a documentary and that it was going to be called Stolen Wildlife. And it was going to be about how all of these exotic animal breeders and dealers are stealing the babies away from their moms, pimping them out to make a quick buck and then discarding them into horrible situations. So we were all on board with that. They said it was going to be the blackfish for big cats. Did you see blackfish? No, I didn't. It was, you probably know about it, even if you didn't see it. It was the film that came out a few years ago about killer whales and dolphins in sequariums and um, captivity. And as a result of that, people, when they saw how cruel that is, that they're taking those baby orcas away from their family pods, they're sticking them in these tiny little aquariums where their little dorsal fins hang over sideways because they're so sad and they're so neglected in the way that they should be fed and cared for. And then they're breeding more of them for life in these swimming pools. When people saw that, they did not want to go to SeaWorld or Seaquarium or any of those places. And so they had to completely change their model so that they don't steal animals from their families in the wild anymore. They don't breed them for life in swimming pools anymore. They quit doing the abusive shows where they were training these animals to jump through hoops to entertain people. They had to stop all of that because the public saw how horrific it was for the animal. So this is what we thought we were working on with the film called Stolen Wildlife for five years. And I think it may have originally been what they were trying to do because they got a lot of footage of the people, we call them the bad guys, the people that are pimping out these cubs and breeding hundreds of them. And they showed us all kinds of footage of these people just being wretched to these animals. And they were trying to sell it to CNN. CNN was the one who aired Blackfish. And in 2018, CNN said, no, thank you. And so I think maybe at that point they decided, okay, nobody wants to see a film that really shows the truth about this. So maybe if we rewrap it as something that like turns everything up on its head, we take the one person who's trying to end the abuse and we'll make her the villain. And then the people who are over here trying to kill her and who are killing these animals, we'll make those the heroes and people will love this. And they did, they just ate it up and did no research on their own to find out what a false narrative they were being fed. They did eat it up, no pun intended. So when they first came to like, do you think they had like, you know, these original intentions, like when they were approaching CNN, like of going down this road, or do you think they had this ulterior motive all along? It's really hard to say, you know, my husband and I have talked about this a lot because on the one hand, um, they were very convincing and they were gathering all of this footage of these animals being mistreated. And the guy who was doing this proclaimed himself to be a sanctuary owner for turtles. And they were using a film editor who had been used in the Cove, which was another one about these dolphins and how they're um, pulled from their family to be used in these shows all around the world. And so we thought that it had good credentials for being a real documentary, but at the same time, if you're somebody who's really into rescuing animals, would you, would you even put out a film that, that paints the people who are trying to end the problem as the villains? I mean, that just, that seemed, that seemed beyond necessary. You could have, they could have done all kinds of crazy stuff and showed all the crazy people in Tiger King without trying to paint me as being some gold digging, home wrecking murderer how did that feed into their narrative other than to try and wreck my reputation and say she's no better than all these people because they sure couldn't say it about the way we treat animals. That's totally different than the way those people treat animals other than the fact that they only showed our cats in their little feeding lockouts instead of their cages, which are in some cases acres large, but you never saw that in Tiger King. So it's really hard for me to say whether they did that on purpose or not. And back in 20. 2007, actually, um, I had worked on a bill here in the state of Florida to ban people getting pythons because people were being killed by their pet pythons and people were turning pythons loose in the Everglades. And it used to be when you drove through the Everglades, you would see animals or you'd see roadkill at least that showed you there were animals there. There's nothing left. 
the pythons have just sucked everything out of the Everglades. I mean, there's a few Florida panther, a few bobcats left, and that's about it. And it's because of this trade. So anyway, I've been working on this state law to ban the trade in these reptiles. And that was how Eric Good from Tiger King starts out, Tiger King saying, I was involved in the reptile industry. It was like, yeah, he was involved in the reptile industry that I was trying to put an into here in Florida. So maybe there was always this um, desire to get back at me. Interesting. And then when this was happening, like, and they started asking questions, like specifically about like your husband, Don Lewis, like, could you tell, you know what I mean? Like, could you tell like at any point, cause I'm not, this is no shade cause you um, were not in the media. Like, could you tell that it was going in a certain direction when they were asking about like Don and like his disappearance or it just was all weaved in there throughout everything else they were asking about? Well, when they were asking those questions, my husband actually asked them, they were like, he's like, why are you guys focusing on this? I thought we were talking about animal abuse and how these animals are treated. And they said, well, you know, people like Joe Exotic are always accusing Carol of killing her husband and feeding him to the tiger. So we just have to show that this is the way that they deflect attention away from the horrible things that they're doing, which is what they do. I mean, that's why they say those things. There's no justification for what they do to the animals. And so the only thing they can do is try to get people paying attention to something else. You know, it's like yeah. an magic act. And it seems like most of these people that abuse big cats are also magicians. They understand smoke and mirrors. And so if they start saying, oh yeah, she, she killed her husband and fed him to the tigers, then the media is like, oh wow, that's exciting. And they've forgotten all about these poor tiger cubs. And so that's what we thought we were answering was to say, look, this is why they're saying these things. But that was not the way it came across in Tiger King. No, it was not. 